good morning myself cd prem kumar assistant professor department of information technology going to deliver a lecture on software project management in this video we are going to discuss about network planning models so coming to the network planning models how you are going to frame a network model so basically a network model it can be formulated for the project scheduling techniques for the activities and their relationships as a graph so most frequently used techniques are the program evaluation review technique and the critical path method there are two important concepts one is activity on arrow and activity on node coming to the activity on arrow this approach is used to visualize the project as a network in which all the activities are shown as an arrow which are joining the circles so each node represents either the start or end of an activity or a set of an activity so coming to activity on a node here uh, the approach represents node as an activity as there is a link between the nodes that denote the precedence requirements so as uh, we see the diagrams and we can easily differentiate activity on node as well as activity on arrow coming to activity on node there is a node known as begin and there are several nodes in between a b c d e f and g and finally n so once uh, the node has started it uh, will uh, go to either a d or f so it is indicated by an arrow head so finally if it reaches a then uh, the a has to get completed then only we can go with b and e similar way uh, c has to be started once when you complete b and e finally you're going to end the task so this is the concept of activity on node so coming to the activity on arrow here uh, each activities are represented on the link there's a link between uh, two nodes start then finally in activity a has to get started and uh, it has to reach the event g then activity d has to get started and finally it has to end then you have a uh, activity b and activity c so this is said to be the activity on arrow so how we are going to construct the precedence networks so what are the steps to be carried on first only one start node and only one end node must be defined for a project network that is there cannot be more than one start node for any project network and usually the duration of the start node is zero so if more than one start node or end node exist it leads to confusion and uncertainty then every node must have a duration yes duration is very important the duration tells how much uh, time it takes from one node to other node so any node that represents an activity must be provided with a duration for its execution so here the activities must be executed out uh, in the sequence order then links do not have any duration so the relationship between activities that are represented through one node to other node doesn't have any links then subsequent preceding activities are precedence so the successors of any uh, preceding activities are uh, defined by some relationships then coming to the fragment of precedence network here the activities are always started from the leftmost node and presides in the forward direction so it has to carry out in the forward directions so usually the networks are drawn from left to right so arrows can be drawn to show the flow of direction so arrows are very important so this shows the fragment of precedence network then uh, the loop represents an impossible sequence the loop is very important so if you take any activity network that does not contain any loop or if any loop exists it results in an error in the network so but certain process can be iterative in the development and involved in an iterative process all the network planning applications have some criteria to find out the errors for both small and complex projects then dangle so what is the dangle so dangling activities are never shown in the network this leads to error in subsequent analysis of the development process that is uh, if there is any gap between two or more processes it's said to be a dangle so for example any an activity named prepare using some ma ma manual user manual 
should be started in the network as a non-connectivity activity. Instead, it must be uh, connected to some installation program. So, how you are going to resolve the diagonal is nothing but you have to draw the uh, link from user manual to sign off. So, once the process is completed, you are going to sign it off. So, this is how you are going to resolve the diagonal. Okay. So, so far we have discussed about the network planning models. In that, we have seen uh, what are the steps to be followed in order to draw any uh, nodes from one direction to other direction, how the activities are carried out, and we have seen the activity on network and activity on node. Okay, thank you.